Hey everybody, it's a, it's a, it's a, me Kevin here. Oh. Oh, meet spin Kevin. Kevo, Kevy, Kevin Little, Kevin Lulu, Kevin Poo Poo. You're never gonna learn, young man. Now I want you to sit down. I want you to pull out a pen and paper, and I want you to listen to Daddy Strongman, who's gonna teach you and your brainwashed fans, who you've duped out of millions of dollars, how to actually build wealth. Now, I recently put up a video where I had you on the cover, on the thumbnail. <laughs> it was about Peloton stock, which you pumped on your channel just a few short months ago, saying that you were making a contrarian trade, and you're so smart, and blah, 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 blah. And it turns out that Peloton just went to crap pretty recently. Now, I made the video because there's almost like, I don't think there's any evidence on YouTube that you sold it. What I suspect happened is that you bought Peloton and in your private stock group, which you require people to spend up to $800 or more to get into, you probably told them to sell. Some of them probably saw it. Some of them didn't. But how many, how many people do you think got freaking screwed when they didn't see you tell them to sell Peloton stock. Probably a lot of them, Kevin. See, that's the problem with your channel. You pump hundreds and thousands probably of stocks and cryptocurrencies every freaking day. All you do is talk about hot new stocks to buy. You're putting two million here, you're putting two million there. People can't keep track of what you're buying and selling, buddy. And by having such a large platform, it is horribly irresponsible to tell people to buy individual stocks and not really give them any kind of exit plan or guidance, okay? So, circling back to Peloton, how many of your fans, Meat Spin, saw you buy it, saw you get hyped up about it, and then missed your video where you said to sell it? Probably tens of thousands of people bought into Peloton, and now they're left holding the freaking bag. You loser. Jesus. Now, the true way to build wealth, Kevo, is to max your tax adv advantage accounts and buy total world index funds. Now, I know you can't admit that, because if you did, why would anybody buy your course? Why would anybody watch your channel? Because you preach the opposite of that. You preach complete and utter tax-efficient garbage. Let's look at what Kevin pays in taxes, ladies and gentlemen. Every time he makes one of his genius trades half of which probably lose money. California taxes any gains at 13.3%, just the state. And on top of that, he pays an additional 37% for the federal government short-term capital gains tax rates, which are taxed at, taxed at ordinary tax rates. So he's already paying 50% of his gains in taxes. And then on top of that, he has the net investment income tax, which is assessed on people that make a decent amount of money. He definitely qualifies for that. He's paying an additional 3.8%. So he's roughly paying 53, 54% taxes on every single gain. So half of his gains, more than half are gone every time he trades. How stupid is that? Why not, instead of trading in and out of stocks and craptos, gambling because you don't really know where they're going to go over the next couple of weeks, months, or years. No one freaking knows. It's all guesswork. It's all scam. Oh, I'm going to read the chart. Blah, blah. It's a bunch of BS. How about instead of paying 50% or more in taxes on every single trade, why don't you just buy and hold stocks that you believe in in the long term, Kevin? You pay way less taxes and you'd probably be way wealthier. But instead, you set a piss poor example for your clients, your viewers, who can't afford to gamble on stupid stocks like you can. Because if you lose money, you just raise the price on your little grift course, or you just, you know, pump out more videos about stimmy checks or whatever you do to, you know, get views on your channel. So that's my thoughts about that, me, Kevin. I think you're a clown. I think you have no idea what you're doing. And your response to my video, which was pretty hilarious, you actually commented on my video. I'm such a small channel, you know, I got, what, 1,500 subscribers. I'm a nobody, I'm a loser. And yet you still just had to come comment on my channel? What do you have, like 1.78 million subscribers? Obviously you're a thousand times smarter than I am, 
and all my points are wrong and all your everything you say is correct because you have more subscribers. So why did you scoop down or stoop down to my level? Meet Kevin. Why did you come down to Strongman and have to post this comment? Because you're probably butthurt. You probably know I have really good points and you can't argue against them. You're going down, brother. It's just a matter of time. Even if my channel never takes off, once the bear market comes, the inevitable bear market, you're going to get freaking annihilated because you gamble on stupid growth stocks that are going to get crushed and have massive falls whenever the inevitable bear market happens, which please happen, please. And you're going to be shown for the fraud you really are. So here's Meat Spence comment when I made the Peloton video. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm so embarrassed. I, I mean, I don't understand anything about taxes or trading and how it's gambling and... I know you're a grifter because you're charging $8.55 for your stupid course that teaches people how to pay high capital gains tax rates and gamble on stocks and cryptocurrency. I'm just an idiot. You're embarrassing yourself. I sold all Peloton three months ago at $113 per share. Multiple options profits well above that as well. Hmm. How much are you paying taxes there, Kevo? Your profits aren't even close to what you're trying to <laughs> convince people that you actually got. But once again, the point is, did your fans know you sold? Do you think the fans that originally bought Peloton off that video, do you think they sold three months ago? Maybe they missed the video and boom, now they're down like what, 30, 40%? But you would not know because you are too busy hating. Oh, I am so busy hating on you, me, Kevin. I mean, you're not the only person that I hate on. But if you notice, if you notice, Kevin, I don't hate on Graham. Why? Because he actually teaches good stuff. And he's got like twice the subscribers you do. And that's a good thing. Because he actually teaches better stuff. But you and your little buddy LeFoufou are freaking grifters. And it motivates me. It gives me drive to just know that one day, maybe my channel will be big enough. Where you're going to be forced to come and debate me. Or acknowledge me. And then when you do, I'm going to rip you apart and embarrass you. It's just a matter of time there. Kevo. So there's some comments. Blah, 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 blah. Never encourage people to invest in meme coins. I always say it's a gamble and meme coins are momentum based that evaporate fast. I mean, if you just go look at your channel and look at your thumbnails, you can tell that you just inspire FOMO and, you know, fear and, you know, horrible, ill thought out actions. <laughs> this could make Shiba Inu explode soon. Oh, you're not, pro you're not promoting people to invest in meme coins. What are you talking about? $1 Doge versus one cent Shiba Inu. $1 Shiba Inu. Hmm. Yeah, you're, you're not in, you're not, Kevin, you are not enticing people to invest in meme coins. This is crazy. You're not inciting FOMO. What do you, no. <laughs> oh my God, you're so full of crap. What's up with the freaking troll doll here? Seriously, that's a serious question. So, I made a little comment here. Four twenty sixty nine 69 to learn how to gamble and pay short-term capital gains taxes. That meets Kevin's course. You should go buy it, guys. And then, obviously, this guy here, Nick, who I appreciate commenting on this video, he said, Meat Spin. And he was referring to Meat Spin's Peloton video. You said, Peloton for me is a big, long bet. But then, but then you sold it after, like, four months. Did you discover major flaws in your DD that caused you to sell your big, long bet a couple months ago? You said it was extremely undervalued at 103. <laughs> but sold at 110. You didn't present this a Momo trade. It doesn't add up. And then, of course, see, he was just hanging around my profile. You know, I'm such a small YouTuber, but I seem to have ticked a nerve. Because <laughs> he knows I'm right. It's hilarious. I love being, like, the underdog, you know, the little channel everybody makes fun of. Oh, Kevin's got millions of subscribers, and he's smarter than you, and he, he has nicer hair than you. The green hair, you just, you have regular dark hair like a loser. <laughs> he's better than you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything. I'm just a CPA. You know, I've been investing for 10 years in total world index funds. And I didn't steal a dime from people by grifting off of uh, stupid courses. And I still saved a ton of money. Hmm. But whatever, I'm just a moron. Yes, that's correct. Massive changes. So within the span of a couple months, your DD massively changed. Social trends, app usage, deliveries, and website traffic were very big red flags, as well as pricing. Kevin, you don't know how to analyze stocks, dude. You just look at, I don't even know what you look at. Revenue growth and future? Is that how you pick stocks? Decent revenue growth? Futuristic. Bye, 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 bye.
you don't look at any like profitability metrics, discounted cash flows. I don't think you know how to discount cash flows, but whatever. You're, you're Kevin. You, you got millions of subscribers. Anyway, here's one of your little shills. I'm disappointed in Kevin for even bothering with this a-hole. You know why he bothered with me? Because I think he knows I have really good points. But, you know, right now I'm just a small channel. You know, I can't really make a big impact on him. But there's going to come a time I'm going to be big enough to really, really, really lay the smack down on your grifting and your stupid advice, Kevo. He's only giving him what he wants, free pub. Yeah, he did. <laughs> So, Kevin, feel free to, you know, keep commenting on my channel. I really appreciate it. Anyway, that's it. Don't watch this guy if you've watched this to the end of the video. I got scammed. I see my email. I delete. Just don't freaking watch him. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. He's going to grift. You don't need to pay eight fifty five or even with the stupid little discounts at 69% off or whatever. You don't need to have a, you don't need to pay for a stupid course, okay? You need to match your tax advantage accounts and buy total world stock market index funds, okay? And not pay tech capital gains rates up to 13% in California plus 37%. It's freaking ridiculous. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and I'll talk to you later. Choo!